We're gonna big smiley views. Yes, we're gonna look at some awesome, awesome news. I'm gonna try to make jokes out of them, you know, trying to poke them, trying to be stupid with them. Yeah, so news. And then, oh, we're gonna look at an unboxing. Yes, you know, the HMB, the guys that go and bust right now in the UK. So it's a good deal. They got some good stuff there. Tons of discounts, you know, if you live in the UK, check them out, check them out. Anyway, yeah, this is not a new game, but it's one of those games that most people do not play. But it's still a fantastic game, and we're gonna unbox it, I'm gonna, because I really wanna get into it, stop playing it. Maybe we're gonna have a short review sometime later, but now the news. <laughs> okay, uh, the Animal Crossing series got a new name, the Animal Crossing 3DS. It's no longer called Animal Crossing 3DS, now it's gonna be called Animal Crossing New Leaf. Pretty cool, I like that name, it's a fresh, fresh, new leafy, you know, name, cool. The other series that has been renamed is Devil May Cry, yes, it's no longer gonna be called DMC or Devil May Cry, it's gonna be called Lady Boner, oh, yeah, because, you know, like, ladies love them. Nintendo, once again, in the news, they are restructuring, they're gonna be rearranging some stuff, you know, moving desks around, employing some people, getting people new positions and jobs, all that kind of stuff. Good, 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 but do we care? No, we don't care, damn it! Because, Nintendo, look, you can do whatever you want, restructure however you want, we just want more games. Wii U was Mario Kart. Wii U was a new Zelda. Wii U was a new Yoshi game. 3DS was a new Yoshi game. Come on, Nintendo, come on, keep it coming, keep it coming. Restructuring. Tell us more about games, not restructuring, yeah? Hire people, whatever you need to do, but keep those games coming. You know, those hardcore games that we like so, love so much. PS Move redesign, yes. That PlayStation Move, you know, that thing that never really took off, that we, that, those dodos things. They're gonna redesign it, and let's have a look at a few ideas that, that, that they're gonna go for. Oh, for God's sake. What, what is this? Come on, man, what is this? Look at this dude right here, come on, who, who, who's gonna do this in the living room? Who has a living room big enough to flip around like that? Come on, man. Look, if you wanna flip around like that, go outside in the park and kick a ball, you know? Like, come on. Oh, oh what else is there? Oh, man. You know, this really, it's looking more and more like a dodo right there, you know? Oh, man, okay, forget that news, that was crappy news. We're not gonna get it anyway, come on, who's gonna get that stuff, you know? Like, anyway, a bit of sad news, yes. Gas Powered Games, you know, has massive layoffs. Some like 50 people are laid off. You know, Gas Powered Games, they did like Dungeon Siege and they did the Age of Vampires online. When the CEO was questioned about the layoffs, he said, Yo, dudes, we're gas powered. Check the title. We don't need employees. We're powered by gas. Ha ha ha. Why do you think we, we just hired them, you know, for no particular reason? Oh, just getting rid of them. Gas powers us. Gas does all the graphics in our games. Gas powers all the programming. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe that was maybe that was a bad joke. Poor guys, you know, got fired and shit. Damn. Ah. Anyway, I'm sure they're fine, you know, I'm sure they probably got jobs as bartenders or something, you know. I've been a bartender for fucking five years now. Probably gonna die in a minimum wage job, but never mind. And never mind, okay, let's keep it up. Anyway. Unboxing time. <laughs> Okay, I will be completely honest with you. This is um, this this is a game. This is a series I love so much, but because I've been so busy with my minimum wage job, because you see the thing about minimum wage jobs is that you gotta put in hundreds and hundreds of hours to get even a tiny bit of money, which is why I've been putting in hundreds and hundreds of hours just to get a tiny bit of money. Nothing in there. And uh, we, that's why, you know, I did not have time to uh, really play. Oh my god. Now, if you know me, you will know I love the Tales series. Yeah! I love RPGs and I love the Tales series because of their unique battle system. You know, the on the fly battle system where you just enter a battle and instead of like in Final Fantasy, you kind of always move around. It's almost like a fighting game, you know? It's almost like Street Fighter or something. And this is the special edition. This is where I'm gonna have to be honest with you. I don't actually know what you get in the um, special edition because I'm so busy and this is such a rushed video and those jokes are just so rushed that um, I did not actually see what it is that they give you in the special edition. So, um, oh, here it is. Oh, it's actually just, it's in, it's in the back of the box. Yeah. 
<laughs> it looks like you get an odd book, you get, um, okay, odd book, you get making your videos, an original soundtrack, the game, yeah, the game, and DLC card with custom set Tales of Destiny 2 and exclusive PS3 themes. Yes, this is a PS3 game. I wish it wasn't a 360 because I have such a big habit of just playing everything on this 360. I wish Mario games were on 360 now. Good God. Yes, so let's, let's have a look. This is the, this is the, um, Okay, this is the game, right? I'm gonna open that later. Okay, this is the um, register your game, enter your code. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is probably the thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna register my game. I don't really register stuff. Oh yes, the odd book. This is Tales of Graces. Okay. Now I, I, this looked beautiful on the trailers. This looked beautiful on the. Oh, it's, you know, really, I, I checked this out, I was, when this was still out in Japan, and it was still only a dream that it's gonna come to Europe, I was really checking it out, and I was like, wow, this looks great, you know, I want it, I really, really want it, and, um, I finally got it, and there we go, so, I mean, once again, I'm, I don't know where I'm gonna find the time to play this, because once again, I'm always trying to pack in as many hours as I can to pay for all these bills, because the goddamn rent is too damn high, baby, ha! <laughs> God damn, that line is used way too much, by the way, on online, you know? That line is way, just hauled around like crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, so the CDs are, oh, no. I thought, I thought the CDs came out, but no, this is how they are. Look at that. Look, oh, wow. One, two, three discs. Oh, baby. So that's behind the scenes. That's the original soundtrack. Oh, maybe I should use some music from this game for my videos, huh? Uh huh, uh huh. And uh, this is the game. Oh, look at that beautiful artwork. You know, the Tales games have amazing artwork. You know, I really, really think it is great. So, okay, uh, here's the little digital add-on content. And the, we got a manual. Yes, we do have a manual. It is in black and white, but uh, I don't really care anymore. You know, I used to complain about that, but now I don't care because I don't read manuals anyway. Yeah. Should we see, should we see a bit of... A bit of um, Gameplay, tiny pick of gameplay, I don't know, should we, should we, should we not know? Yeah, let's do it, come on! So this is the beginning of the game, and uh, I really like the graphics, actually. Really nice graphics, here's the enemy, as you can see, he's, he moves around his, in his uh, area. We're gonna go chat, look to him later. Ooh, look at that. So you see, you find all these cool things. Now, this is the battle system. This is one of the best things about the game. So you see, you kind of just smash that tag button a lot, but it does get more strategic, you know, there are different, you know, attacks, you know, you, you can learn, and there's attacks you, you can combine together to do combos and stuff. So it does get really technical, and it does get really, really cool. So as you can see, it's, it's a cool battle system. It's quite different to most RPGs, and I think it really, really is a lot of fun. And that's really what stands out in this game, I think. The battle system and the amazing stories that this game, that the Tales series tends to have. So there we go, that is my video. This is the second video with my layout. And I did ask uh, if you guys had any requests. And Joy Bianchi said um, he wants to see my setup. So okay, I'll show you my setup. Really, this is not something you should be asking. <laughs> because, um, good God, um, it's messy. It's messy, I'm not a clean person, I will tell you straight away. So there we go, that's my TV right there, that's all my posters, and you see back there we got a PS3, all dusty, because again, I do not clean, I don't have time. I mean, it's organized, I know where everything is, but um, it doesn't look clean to you, but it's it's not that messy actually. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, that's my TV, that's my Mega Man that I built myself, you kind of buy him, he's in pieces, and then you have to build him. And there's my Wii right there, as you can see. Haha, <laughs> my Wii, back of the TV. So yeah, that that is my setup. Um, <laughs> and here here are some games. So check it out. Um, some DS's there, the PSPs there. It never gets touched. Uh, more games. So yeah, that's that's my that's my casual setup. I got like candles here. You see, oh, I got a girl coming later. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway guys, thanks thanks a lot for watching and um, tune in next time. Tune in next time and let me know if you want me to do something. Bye.